So it would appear that I made a mistake. In my last video, I did a review on the unreleased Days of Summer epic variant, the Valk Retro. If it wasn't for two of my subscribers who had sensational observation skills, I wouldn't even have known. Apparently, I got one of the weapon perks wrong on the Valk Retro. Now some of you may be asking, how is that possible? Well first of all, I don't actually have the weapon variant. I was at the DLC 3 capture event at Infinity Ward and got to use it for about 45 minutes. And I didn't solely just use that weapon either. I used all kinds. Second of all, I was anticipating getting to use some of these unreleased weapons at the event. And I was doing some research before the trip on Reddit where someone leaked the Valk Retro. And there it said it had the Ballistic Conversion Kit and the Stockpile for its two weapon perks. So I went into the event with that in mind. Now lastly, I saved the file in which I used the Valk Retro on my Elgato as Valk AK-47 Extended Mags Stockpile. So combining these three things, it's no surprise why I assumed it had the Stockpile Weapon Perk. It was the real Captain Morgan who was the first to point out my error. And he said, Pause the video at 10.01 and you can see the Valk has the Steady Weapon Perk and not Stockpile. So this is the clip he was referring to from my last video. It was a clip I wasn't even going to originally include in the video, but since it had that new camper taunt with the marshmallow, and it displayed me holding the new Valk in the winner's circle, I put it in there. So it's during the final kill cam that you're given a sneak peek at the weapon perks the Retro has. On the left is the new weapon perk, which is the Ballistic Conversion Kit. Now on the right, as Captain Morgan observed, is the Steady Weapon Perk. Now just to absolutely confirm it this time, I went into some of my weapon variants and double checked the image. As you can see, the Steady Perk here on the K-Bar String Theory is identical to the one on the Retro. Steady, by the way, reduces your hip fire spread and stacks with the laser sight. Just for comparison, this is what the Stockpile Weapon Perk looks like. So clearly, I was wrong in my assumption. Now I was definitely glad Captain Morgan pointed this out, as I honestly had no idea I was even in the wrong here. However, it was the follow-up comments that got me all riled up. In particular, Mr. Salvo. He says, yeah, a whole part of the video messed up because of a silly mistake. Not so professional in this sense. Now sure, this may seem like an insignificant comment, but this was a low blow to me. I try my damnedest to be as professional as possible on YouTube. Case in point, my commentaries. Find me a video I've done in the last four years where you hear me stutter, say the words um or ah, or any other mistake like that. I guarantee you won't be able to find one, because I carefully go through and edit out all those mistakes in every single video. I make sure there's no errors like that. Not only this, I clearly abide by the quality over quantity phrase. There's been many times where I purposely wait weeks to finish some videos just to ensure that my findings are 100% accurate. Not to mention that I take my time to read each and every single comment that's posted on my videos. And if time allows, I respond to most of them as well. Again, find me another YouTuber with over 102,000 subscribers that does that. And lastly, as I mentioned earlier, I don't even have the Valk Retro. I only used it briefly at that event. I don't have any menu screens of me using it. Otherwise, this mistake wouldn't even have happened. Normally I check and double check my findings, but in this case, I clearly couldn't do that because I don't have the weapon. So to call me unprofessional for a rare mistake on my behalf drove me to drink. And then there's the comment above that one by Casual Gaming. He says, how do you miss something like that? Again, besides all the reasons I just stated, less than 10 people made a comment about my mistake in the video, and it has over 20,000 views. That means about 19,990 people also missed the mistake, or they just didn't care. And honestly, who looks at the weapon perks in a kill cam? I didn't even know they showed up there until now. So basically, the Valk Retro doesn't contain the stockpile weapon perk, which explains why I had issues in my last video with the ammo count. This is actually unfortunate, as the stockpile perk would better suit the weapon. Having the steady perk makes it less attractive, as not many people hit fire unless they're in a bind. Now with that said, you can still equip the extended mags attachment to get 42 bullets, and it still has that powerful 3-4 shot kill range. The rest of my previous video still holds true in all regards. So if you want to see actual gameplay of the Valk Retro, feel free to scout it out. I just wanted to correct my mistake in the previous video and offer an apology for a rare mistake on my behalf.